Hey guys, today I'm going to share a quick little Pilates inspired workout for full body, abs and ass. The only thing you need is a mat. We're going to start on our hands and knees and do some big cat and cows. This way we can really stretch out our back and neck. Go into a cat and go into a cow. Really stretch those muscles. Then we're going to make big circles. Make a big circle to the right side, let everything move and go to the left side. Take a deep stretch in child pose. Move your hands to the right side for a stretch sidewards. Keep the child pose, stretch it up. And go to the left. Then we're going into a plank. Reach your left knee to your left elbow and stretch it and come back. Reach and up. Reach to your elbow and up. We're doing this five times in total. Really squeeze all your muscles in your leg, in your butt, in your abs. Then stay in a plank and move your left knee to your right elbow and reach it to your left elbow. Go side to side, five in total. Really feel those abs working. Move your leg back up, bend it and give your body a deep stretch. And come into a pigeon pose and stretch it out. You can move your arms forward or you stay on your elbows. Whatever feels good to you, listen to your body. Then we come back up and we're gonna do a little back stretch. Come to a downward facing dog, walk it out here, bend one knee and the other one. We're going to the right side, five times, reach your knee to your elbow and back into the air. Make the movement very controlled and reach up and go forward. Squeeze those abs. Two more and stay in the plank and move your knee inwards and outwards. Place it in the front and go into a pigeon and stretch it out. Lengthen your arms or rest on your elbows, whatever feels good to you. Come back into a plank and stretch your right leg up in the air, bend it and stretch it out to the side. And we're going back into a plank and hold this for 10 seconds. And we're going into a downward facing dog. Come back into a plank where we're going to start the next series. 
Raise your left leg eight times up. It's very important to stay in a straight plank. Squeeze those arms, squeeze those abs, and squeeze that butt. And to the other side, eight times on the right. Up and down. Come back into the sitting position and roll your shoulders, roll your neck, whatever feels comfortable for you. This is a moment where you can let everything loose. Sit down on your butt and we're gonna do a little ab series. Roll back and reach to the back and come up. Roll slowly, every vertical by vertical, and reach up and backwards. Make sure to go back with a round spine. Go up and down. Make this movement very slow. Stay up and do little sit-ups with your arms straight forward. Keep your own pace if you want to go a little faster, if you want to go a little slower, it's all good. Then we're switching to sit-ups with your arms in your neck. Make sure your elbows are reaching out and not up. And really tiny little squeezes up, little crunches. Go into a boat position with your legs in the air and your arms and hold this for a couple seconds. If you want to make this exercise harder, you can also stretch out your legs. If it's too much, keep them bent. Being in control and being balanced is the most important thing. Then reach your arms from one side to the other and really work those side abs. Move slowly and control. If this is too much with the legs up, you can also place them back on the ground. Really make a twist with your upper body. Come back to your back and do some leg raises. Reach your legs into the air and touch them down on the ground. If you feel this in your lower back, you can also put your hands underneath your butt for some extra support. After this, we're going to do some leg circles. Keep your left leg on the ground and your right leg up and make big circles to the outside. This exercise is really working your legs, but also your abs. Be in control and make a big circle to the outside. And switch to the left side, same leg, but go to another direction with the circle. And go to the left side, first the outside, make a big circle to the left and come back. Up and over. Great job, you guys. And we're going to the other side, switch. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're going into bicycle crunches. Move your elbow to the opposite knee while you're making a little crunch. I hope you guys feel your abs burning right now. Twist your upper body from left to the right and lengthen those legs. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the abs. Really work your whole body. We're gonna repeat a little part of this series. We're coming back into a little sit-ups with our arms forward. Make tiny little crunches up and down. And move from left to the right twist that upper body reach those elbows to the ground those hands and keep balanced do this slowly and control the slower you are actually the better you will feel it we're gonna do one more rep of bicycle crunches starting right now one side to the other side. And it's time for a little stretch. Take your right knee and pull it towards you. Really stretch out. I really love to do this while I'm working out, to do some little stretches in between. It makes me less sore and I lose up a little. Let it fall to the left side and look to the right side. Same exercise on the other side, stretch your knee towards you and let it fall to the right side while you look to the left. Really lengthen those muscles and reach to the other side of the room. Come to your hands and knees because for a final minute we're going to do a little bit of butt workouts. Stretch your arms forward and move your body back. Stretch your leg out and make big half circles with your left leg. Tap on the inside and tap on the outside, over and back, over and back. This is a big motion that needs to be controlled. Then we're going to do a donkey kick with bent knee backwards and sideways. So first backwards and sideways. You can go on your elbows if it's more comfortable. So donkey kick up and to the sides. Really work those side glutes here. Squeeze your butt. A couple more. Hold it up and do 20 little pulses. You can flex the feet or stretch, that's up to you. Then we're going into Superman. Stretch your right arm forward and your left knee backwards and keep your balance and your hips straight. Go in and out. Make this a slow motion. When your arms and legs are out, hold this for 10 seconds and then we're going to the other side. We're going to start with the supermans on the other side. Stretch left arm forward and your right leg backwards. Squeeze all your muscles and your legs and arms. In and out. Make sure your neck is lengthened and your hips are straight. Don't turn them to the side. 
It's a very challenging exercise, but it's really good for your whole body. When your arms and legs are out, hold this position for 10 more seconds. Back to hands and knees, lengthen your arms and move your whole body a little backwards. And do the half circle tap. Keep your legs straight and tap on the inside and to the outside. It's important to move your whole body a little bit backwards because your glutes will work a little bit more. So up and over, make a big half a circle. Squeeze your butt. And we're going into the donkey kicks backwards and sideways. Back and side, back and side. Feel this burn in your butt. You guys are almost done, you're doing a great job. Do 20 little butt pulses, tiny little squeezes up and down. Keep this a small motion. We're almost at our last exercise. Done for the butt. We're going to do a final plank for 30 seconds. Come on, you can do this. Keep your butt low, neck in line, and squeeze those abs. Squeeze those legs, squeeze those glutes. And done! Amazing work. You can do a little stretch here. I like to stretch my arms up, I stretch my head to the right side and I go to the left in the middle, go backwards and forward. Take your arms up, take a deep breath and do whatever feels good for you to stretch it out. I'm actually wondering if you guys would like to see a full stretch workout video for next time if you guys would be interested in that then please leave a comment down below i hope you enjoyed the workout a very good job and i will see you guys very soon bye bye